Welcome back to our devotional series on the Book of Lamentations. Today we are moving to chapter 5 for the last section in the Book of Lamentations. And so there's a lot in here about restoration and a little bit more hope than we've seen in some other places. Let's read right away verses 1 to 3. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Look and behold our reproach. Our inheritance has been turned over to aliens and our houses to foreigners. We have become orphans and waifs. Our mothers are like widows. So again, we remember that the book of Lamentations is kind of this weeping and wailing. It is, a, it is Jeremiah calling out loud and telling his experience, telling his sorrows after the kingdom of Judah has been carried away into captivity. And so what we have here is the final situation, the situation after the chastening, the way the people have been reduced to these horrible situations. We are like orphans. Our mothers are like widows. Everything is, is destroyed for this, this not long ago very wealthy nation because they forsook their God. I mean, what did they expect? So keep this in mind. God will not leave matters incomplete. He doesn't leave things half done. God, when he has a purpose, he works it through and he finishes so that it comes to his glory and it comes to our help. And so even though things look grim at this point, very grim. He says, remember, O Lord, remember what's come upon us. Behold our reproach. See how desolate we are. See how we've become humiliated. See how we've actually turned our hearts now more toward you because we we're not trusting anymore in a lot of the nonsense we were trusting in because you have taken that all away. And now we can see better. We can see more clearly. That stuff was not a help to us. So there's there's a, a good picture here, although it looks still looks grim. They're coming to the end and they're beginning to come back to the Lord God. Always remember at the end of chastening is deliverance. And what lesson might we draw from this? They call themselves orphans because they feel like orphans right now. They feel like they're all alone and they don't have a parent watching over them. But guess what? They do. And who is that parent that's watching over them? God the Father. They are still his children. They may feel orphaned, but in fact, it's because they're not orphaned that God has chastened them and he's continued with them. And restoration is now uh, coming up next on the list. If you feel like an orphan, if you feel left alone, don't, don't feel too much alone. God loves you and he wants you to be his child. Let's pray. Your Father in heaven, we often feel very alone. In this age, strangely, we feel more alone than ever. Many people, our neighbors right next door, may feel very alone. They may not have any, any connection to you. Help us, Lord, certainly to have a connection with you, and maybe we can even share in some, some way that connection with you, with others. Bless us, Lord, even if we're struggling to see through to the next side of a current health issue or a current financial issue or some other family emergency or personal emergency. Help us to trust you. In the end, it's going to be very good. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. God will help us endure. We can't find help anywhere else, but God will help you endure. Have a wonderful day in his service today.